Buckle up, folks. Today we're diving into the world of Trump's potential VP picks, where former critics are now his biggest cheerleaders. It's like watching a soap opera, but with more policy flip-flops. Remember J.D. Vance? Yeah, the guy who called Trump noxious and America's Hitler. Well, now he's one of Trump's biggest fans. Talk about a plot twist. Ah, Marco Rubio once called Trump a con artist and the most vulgar person to ever aspire to the presidency. Now, he's all in on Trump's proposals. It's like a boxing match where the opponents end up hugging it out. Doug Burgum once said he wouldn't do business with Trump. Fast forward, and now he's backing Trump with the enthusiasm of a kid in a candy store. Sweet irony, isn't it? Elise Stefanik started as a moderate critical of Trump. Now she's his most vocal defender. It's like watching someone switch from diet soda to regular. No holding back. And there you have it. The wild ride of Trump's potential VP picks. Proof that in politics, anything is possible. Stay tuned for more twists and turns in this never-ending drama. Catch you next time.